But I'll tell you what, this is the other thing about autism, is that autistic traits are actually, uh, you know, they're heavily concentrated in autistic people, but they're actually spread quite evenly throughout the rest of the population, which is why I always say everyone is a little bit autistic, and I'll prove this now, because I'm going to tell you something that I like, and I guarantee you I'm not the only person in this room who likes this. How many people in this room really like it when you go to the shop and you have the exact right amount of change. <laughs> yes! Brothers, you like, yeah, of course I do, Yanni. It's why I get up in the morning. <laughs> it's brilliant. You know, when they're kind of like, oh, that's £2.73, and you go... <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Just part of the service. It's amazing, it gives you that great feeling of, look what I did. <laughs> and how good it feels depends on how difficult the task is that you've been set, right here. Because someone goes, oh, 10 pounds, that's not even, that's just, <laughs> it sucks, right? The absolute holy grail of this, though, the epitome of this is an item which costs 88 pounds and 88 pence. For the very good reason that that is one of each note and one of each coin. Oh. Oh. What was that? It was like you all turned into horny men. Oh. Even the women were like, oh. Where did that come from, you? It's like your ovaries turned into testicles for half a second. Oh. Any pregnant women immediately miscarry. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have gone there. I got carried away. Sometimes saying the inappropriate thing. So that's one of each note, one of each coin. That's a 50, a 20, a 10, a 5, and then all the coins a 2, a 1, 50p, 20p, 10p, 5p, 2p, 1p, right? And how awesome is it that when you take one of each note and one of each coin, you get a number which is perfectly symmetrical? <laughs> Very amazing, Yanni. Thanks for pointing it out. <laughs> A few of you kind of sitting there stroking your beards going, mm, uh, wait a minute, Yanni, aren't the circles on the top of the eight smaller than the circles on the bottom of the eight? Yes, they are, but your issue is not with the number eight, your issue is with Helvetica. Yeah. <laughs> so 88 pounds and 88 pence, right? You could dream of a day where you could have that and have the exact right amount of change. You just, you just dream of it, don't you? Well could dream of it. Or one could take matters into one's own hands. <laughs> because we live in a wondrous world, people, with a tool called Googly. <laughs> and if one wished to know if something costs 88 pounds and 88 pence, one simply says, Googly, could you tell me things which cost 88 pounds and 88 pence? And Googly says, you're going to do the thing with the notes and the coins? And I'm like, indeed I am. And Googly goes, legend. <laughs> And so I did that, right, I found out where the thing was, went to the shop via the bank, walked in, didn't go straight up and get it, I knew what I wanted, pretended to browse for a bit because I didn't want to look like a weirdo. <laughs> Finally got the item, went over, took it up, put it on the counter, the guy picked it up and went boop, and I went <laughs> <laughs> And he said, that price doesn't include VAT. <laughs> That would be the time to make the ugh noise. <laughs> he said, that doesn't include VAT. With VAT, that's £106.66. And I said, I know, I'm mildly autistic. <laughs> he said, £106.66, right, which I didn't have, which is completely beside the point, because once the thing didn't cost £88.88, I didn't even want that stupid grow-your-own-rainbow kit. 